Okay, wow. <laughs> and it's kind of nice and airy. It lets a lot of air up there. I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm wearing my Nana's curtain a little bit. Hooray! We have a dress that I love! This one actually looks really nice quality. It's got a stretchy neck. The pattern's nice, the color's nice. I freaking love this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Katie and I make fashion videos for plus size women, but I also do shop with me's um, locally in Brisbane, um, Australia. So if you are Australian and you like that kind of content, then make sure to go down and subscribe below. Also while you're down there guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and let's make a fun emoji for today's comment. Let's do... Let's do a cherry. Today I have a really exciting Shein haul for you. Now this is from their Curve range and it has been very kindly gifted by Shein today, but as always, my opinion will be my own. Um, I always check with brands that I can be honest. So my review will be honest today and we are really excited to try them. I've tried the Shein swimwear and some of them were great, some of them not so much, um, but obviously you do have to bear in mind the price that you're paying. Hey guys, just me quickly popping in before the video gets started, um, letting you know that there is a discount code CAKEYSLIFE15 for 15% off. It is valid until the 31st of March, so go in and grab yourself a bargain if you're interested in any of the pieces from today's haul, and let's get into it. Let's open her up and see what goodies we have. I have, again, forgotten what I ordered, because like I said to you, I did about three or so orders last week. Ooh, we got so many goodies. Get excited. Again, I'm just going to pull from the top and work my way down. It's another hot, hot day here in Brisbane. So bear with me and my sweat modules. <laughs> sweat modules? Lovely, Katie. First up, we have this pair of shorts and I'm so excited about it. I got it in a size 2XL. Now sizing is going to be interesting because I had a look at their um, sizing guide and I find the companies vary so much when it comes to sizing. Um, so the best recommendation that I have, because I get asked quite a lot on Instagram DMs, um, best recommendation I have when you're shopping online is look at the sizes. So actually take your measurements and um, look on the size chart and just go based on that. To me, I don't care whether, like, whatever the number says on the tag, I just want it to fit. <laughs> Basically, I want it to fit. So, um, that's why I got the 2XL in the jeans. Now, first off, I do notice a smell, but you tend to get that with most jeans, um, when buying online. Like, even my Fashion Nova stuff that I got those weeks ago, um, had that kind of smell. Oh, they look a bit big. Maybe I was a bit overzealous with my sizing. Hmm. We'll try them on. I mean, worst case, I can salvage it with a belt. I'm pretty sure I got a shirt somewhere, so let me have a look. Let's see if I can find the shirt. Haha, -ha, here it is. I got a stripy shirt. It's, uh, oh, is it navy blue? I thought it was black. Okay, wow. <laughs> I got a navy blue and a pink shirt. It is stretchier than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like a cotton material, but it's actually kind of like a, it's a hard one to describe actually. It's kind of like a mixture between cotton and nylon, if that makes any kind of sense. So this is the outfit on. I'm actually surprised. I thought that this was gonna be a fail, if I'm honest, but Actually, it's not too bad. The sizing is almost perfect. I would go down one size. Um, it's got a little bit of room, but in saying that, it's not coming down. So it's a definitely a good size. It does flare a little more than I anticipated, but again, not a bad thing because it's something different to what I have in my wardrobe now. And it's kind of like nice and airy. It lets a lot of air up there um, during summer. So not mad about the pants. Actually really like them. The only thing is like, it's kind of like sort of pillowing a little bit here, but I feel if I went down the size like I wanted to, that might not happen. So big tick. I'll put the price on the screen as I go along for things because I have forgotten to tell you the price. Second thing, this shirt, it's almost like a swimmery material. Like it's a bit like a, 
yeah, stretchy swimmer, but more cottony, if that makes sense. Um, the only thing is the stripes do show through the pink pocket, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, I'd probably end up just taking this pocket off, to be honest, because it does just come through and it seems like to make it look a little bit cheaper. But I really like it. It's a good, decent size. It's comfortable. It's actually going to be really good for the gym because it's that kind of perfect material when you're sweaty. Um, so yeah, I really like it. The arms are low, sort of around there. The blue's interesting. It's coming across on camera like a navy blue, but in person it's more of like a brighter blue. So I really like it. Um, it's different to what I thought. I don't know what I remember buying online. Maybe I did buy uh, navy, I can't remember. But it's actually turned out not too bad. You guys can tell me in the comments what you think of outfit one. Next up, I went something a little bit more daring than what I'm used to. Um, it's kind of leopardy, cow printy. Really liked the look of it online. I thought it was something different to my usual comfort zone. So, Oh, the material feels really nice. It's kind of like Rion. It does, on first impressions, look a little bit see-through and it doesn't have a slip underneath. So bear that in mind. You'll probably need to wear some kind of nude underwear under it. But let's try it on. I'm going to see what it looks like. Sizing-wise, looks pretty decent. I really liked it on the model on the website, so I might show you that now. So I got this one in a 2XL again, because again, size chart told me my sizes, and it looks pretty, pretty decently sized. I'm hoping that the boobs don't pop out too much. Let's just put it on. Let's shut up and put it on. Okay, this is the next piece. Now I have got black underwear on, so you can probably see that in the camera. Um, I did that purposely, by the way. I always do that so that you can see through any clothes that might be see-through. Um, now, this is the 2X, like I said, and I think I should have gone the 1X. It is a little bit big, but I do really like the style. If it was cinched in, if I'd gone the lower size, um, it would be perfect. And I think it's really appropriate for work. It comes down to my knees, um, almost. It's ever so slightly just above it. And then it's quite decently got coverage over the boobs. I would pin it a little bit higher if it was a work thing, um, just up here. It is a beautifully light material and um, really breathable. So I'm just gonna warn you, put some nude underwear underneath it, but otherwise I'm really impressed. For the price and the flowy arms and it's really comfortable. And I think what I will do is just wear it with a belt, like a tan belt or maybe a black belt actually, and some nice heels. I think this would go really nicely at an event or work if you need to have that for work. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one actually, and it does up with a zip at the back. There is no elastication in it, so if you're unsure of your, excuse me, if you're unsure of your size, I would go one size up, but I would go a 1X if you're the same size as me. I'm usually a 14 to 16, pretty much at the moment a 16 because after Christmas and me going through all of my health stuff, I've kind of been back to being naughty again eating, but I'm back to eating normal again and now I feel like I'll probably sit somewhere between that 14 and 16 again, so it is kind of hard when I'm shopping to know which size I am, but I think this isn't too bad. You guys can tell me in the comments, do you like it, do you hate it? I know this is probably going to be a polarizing one. Some people will hate it, but I think it's a really flattering silhouette. Let me know. Okay, I accidentally started getting undressed before I realized I haven't undone the next pack. So <laughs> I'm here to undo the next one. It's this beautiful sunflower print and it's a set of pajamas. Oh, if I can talk. Uh, what size did I get it in? 2XL again, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too big. But I feel like with pyjamas you can never go too big, you know? It's a beautiful pattern. Oh, yes. It looks exactly like it did on the website, which is always a plus. Oh, really nice. We'll try it on and see what we think. Okay, guys. This is the pyjamas. First off, let's talk about sizing. I feel like it's the perfect size for pyjamas because you want it that little bit looser. Um, any smaller and I think it would hug my belly too much. So the 2XL 
was perfect in this. Um, it's a kind of stiffer, I want to say crunchy material, but it's not crunchy. It's like silk and satin, but a slightly, can you hear that? Slightly rustlier material, which isn't a bad thing. I feel like that would be semi waterproof, which is a thumbs up for vomiting babies. The pants come up super nice and high and they have a really nice elastic band in the middle, which is normally my concern with cheaper um, stores is that they're not gonna have a good band at the top, but this is really nice. I'm really impressed with the quality on this piece. Next up is this beautiful green dress. I do remember this one online. It says it's in a 1XL, so hopefully this might be the right size for me. Let's see. Pulling it out on first impressions, the material is really nice actually. It's quite thick. The top's interesting. It looks like that. Now again, I'll compare it to the model when I'm wearing it. But so far on first impressions, I'm really impressed. It doesn't look too see-through. It's kind of a little bit, but because it's a darker material, I feel like once it's on your body, you won't notice it. So let's chuck it on. Sadly, I don't love it. The quality is not too bad. Like once I got it on, I felt like it's not see-through. It's actually quite a nice material. Like it's thicker than some of the stuff that I've paid $60 for in the past. But I just don't love the fit of it. And it might just be on my body, but I feel quite boxy. I have a similar dress to this, but it's more like figure hugging here so it makes up for the upper top being quite stocky but as you'll see it's just very I don't know I kind of feel like I'm wearing my Nana's curtain a little bit um you guys can tell me what you think it's got a bow in the center it's got a stretchy elastic waist so there's heaps of room this could be perfect for work but for me personally I just feel like it's not my cup of tea it does taper in down the bottom um, and it's got like this nice, I can't really describe it, it's not really a leopard print, it's not really flower leaves, it's just, I don't know, somewhere like that, it's like a Dalmatian spot almost, hmm, just don't really feel it, it's such a shame because I was really loving the look of it on the model, but just on me, not for much. Sizing wise however, I do feel like it's the right size, in fact I probably could have gone down the size again because it has that flowy bottom. Um, and the boob area has a little bit of room to grow, but I think mostly sizing on that was pretty good. Next up, we have, ooh, this one is a um, shawl for bikinis, but I'm going to wait and put a bikini on at the end. We now have a dress. This is a red dress. I'm hoping it's not the same style as this one because obviously you know what that happened with. Oh, no, I remember it. Okay, I'm really excited about this. It is this beautiful red wide dress. <gasps> okay, I'm so impressed with this already. Really like it. It does have fake buttons. There's no opening, so if you're breastfeeding, that's a shame, but Again, for the price, similar to last week, I feel like that's okay, you can compromise. Oh my gosh, I love the look of this. Let's pop it on, what size did I get? This one was in a 0XL. Okay, I'm glad I went the 0XL, I think. It looks quite wide, so let's pop her on. Hooray, we have a dress that I love to pieces. Like, definitely don't feel it's as cheap as it is. It's really nice quality. It's kind of like that, oh, no, it's a little bit different. I was gonna say kind of that roughly tough material, but it's not, it's thicker than Ryan. I'd almost say it's like cotton. Don't mind my nails. I've been sanding up my table and chairs and I don't wanna go paying for a manicure and then ruin it with sanding more chairs. So I'm trying to wait out as long as possible, but it looks so ugly. Look at that, yuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, back to the dress, <laughs> really love the colour, love the fit, I feel like a belt would look really cute with it too, like you could kind of pull off two different looks with this style, you could put the belt on it, cinch in the waist, looks really nice, or you could do it like this, which is sort of leave it a little bit baggier, which is my preferred method, because when you eat food, it doesn't restrict you. The length is phenomenal, comes down to almost my knee, which is just 
tick, tick, tick when you're a parent because like I said last week, when you're bending over, the last thing you want is to show you cooch. So, really, really love this. The arm length is perfect. It does have that little flick on the arm, but I kind of like that. It's kind of giving it a little bit of a detail that's different about it. I really like that. Um, the back is nice and fitted. The sizing is perfect. Zero XL for me. Phenomenal. If I was breastfeeding, I would have needed to go up a size, but because these aren't real buttons, which is the bonus and um, I guess point of fake buttons is that it doesn't separate and show gaps in the dress front which is a common problem that I have with real buttons. So if this had have been real buttons, this would have been too small for me because I am feeling contained in there. Like I can feel it's a little tight, but I like that. I like how tight it is. So that is a bonus to fake buttons. If you have bigger breasts than me, I think I'm a 14F from memory. Just realized the fan's been on this whole damn time. Sorry about that. It's just so hot. I've been putting it in on intermissions. Intermissions? Intermittently. Oh, my brain is frazzled. Um, what was I saying? If it was real buttons, I would have gone up a size because like I said, it's a bit a bit fitted. But I actually really like the zero XL on myself. Um, oh yeah, that's right. 14F. So I'm a 14F in my boobs. So if you're any larger than that, but you'd normally wear a 14 to 16, I'd go the 1XL. But just have a look at the size chart. It seems to be pretty accurate, um, if anything, generous. So bear that in mind. Right, let's do the last piece before we get to the shawl. Um, it's another dress. I'm a little bit nervous because it's the same kind of high neck style as the green one from memory. However, the print, oh, and the material feels really nice. Um, it's kind of like a chiffon, really nice and see-through on the arms. It's got lovely detailing here, cinches in and then a little bit of a flap. Very similar to a dress I already own. Um, this one actually looks really nice quality. It's got a stretchy neck. Pattern's nice, the colour's nice. Does the colour suit me? That was my main concern with it. Oh, I really like it. I hope this one fits me nicely. <laughs> what size did I get it in? Um, this one's in a 1XL, so hopefully that's my size in it. Okay. I'm like mixed feelings about this. So it has a fake tassel, so it actually doesn't do anything around this middle part, which is okay because it's got the stretchy waistband. The length's good, love that. It's also double lined, love that. Um, love the pattern, but I'm not sure how I feel up the top. Maybe it's just me, because it is really hot today, so I feel like it might be clinging to me more than usual. But I don't know, I don't know if I love the arm on it. Like it feels like this part, the stretchy part is too high. Like it almost needs to come a little bit lower and give me a bit more of a sleeve on my hand. I don't know though, I kind of like it, but I'm unsure. It's kind of one of those dresses or one of those things where you buy and you're like, you might warm to it or you might not, you know? Um, again, you guys can give me your opinions in the comments. What do you think of this? I really am impressed with the quality though. This is just purely whether I feel like it's a design that fits me or suits me. I have no question or doubt about the quality other than the placement of the sleeve. Um, I feel like the quality of this is no less than a $60 dress that I've bought in the past. So really happy with that. But I just don't know if the design suits me, you know? I don't know, you guys can let me know. Um, now I'm gonna go quickly hop into a swimsuit and I will show you this bad boy. I am now in a bikini and I have put my hair up because it's so freaking damn hot. Okay, first impressions, really impressed. Oh wow, okay. Oh my gosh. This is stunning. Can you guys see the detailing? And it's got fringe down the bottom. Okay, yes, girl. Oh my god. I freaking love this. Oh my God, I need to look in the mirror. 
Oh my god, I'm so impressed with this. If anything, it's a bit big, but I can make it work up around here. It's just down the bottom. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but the fringe is hitting the floor. But the detailing, oh my gosh. Are you guys going to be able to see this? I feel like it's the perfect amount of coverage for when you go to the beach or if you're like, you know, on a holiday and you're around the house and you don't want to get out of your swimmers. Oh my God, you guys, I freaking love this. So worth the money. Oh my God. Okay. Yes. Oh my gosh, the detailing on this, you guys. I'm really happy. And the quality too. Like that is all embroidered on. Wow. I love this. Okay. Stoked with my purchases. Let's chat. Let's have a final discussion. Okay. Overall thoughts and opinions on Shein. Amazing. Much better than my swimwear haul. Um, were there a couple of pieces that weren't so great? Yes. So the one that I don't like is the green one. Um, all the rest of them, oh, the shirt's a little bit nor here nor there, but the price of it wasn't too bad, so I'm like, okay. Um, but the rest of it I'm actually really stoked with. So the prices, as I said, would have been on the screen as I go along, but from memory, they weren't that expensive. So, um, my opinion might change <laughs> when I'm editing and I'm putting it back on. But I feel like overall, I'm really, really stoked with this brand and I will be repurchasing. If you've been humming and ahhing it, I would suggest trying it. Obviously, you don't have to go out as much as I have and bought as much as I have, but I would definitely suggest trying it. Um, it's really generous sizing. Um, like I said, I ended up getting the 2X in some of the stuff and I should have probably got the 1X, if not the 0X. Overall, though, really impressed. So prices, tick. Quality, tick, for the most part. Um, and designs, like the amount of stuff that was on their website, I had so much to choose from, like I was struggling to pick the eight that I wanted. So definitely go check them out. I'll leave their link down below. I can't remember if I have a discount code. If I do, I will have put it on the screen already and I will have it all linked down below for you. Um, if you guys want to see another Shein haul from me, let me know down in the comments. Would you like me to do a husband picks my Shein haul? Um, something fun like that maybe, let me know. And of course, while you're down there, subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.